Stacking precious metals has changed my life. That's a pretty bold statement. I'm always trying to get non-stackers into stacking precious metals to preserve their wealth. And in this video, you're gonna see why. I'm gonna show you how stacking gold and silver has not only saved me money, but it has also made me money. I will go over all of this and more coming up. Hey guys and gals, if you're looking to support my channel, I have affiliate links listed in the description of all of my videos of all the items that I use. These links do not cost you anything to use, they do not charge you more, but they do give me a tiny, tiny percentage back if you happen to purchase something. With that being said, let's get back to the video. I can't tell you how many people I've come across who put their money into the bank savings account but don't do any investing. What does your savings account earn you? 0.01% interest? Maybe? Meanwhile, the bank storing your money on a computer screen is loaning your money out and making hand over fist on it. Why not have your money work for you instead? Take control of your wealth. Don't leave it in the hands of someone else. In this instance, I'm asking you to literally take your wealth in your hands in the form of gold and silver. Stacking precious metals changes how you look at finances. It is an odd thought to say, and it's not an easy one to explain because it's really a feeling you get once you start stacking precious metals. I think the easiest way to put it is it gets one to recognize what is important. Precious metals have this mysticism around them. They are almost magical. And it's a feeling that you really don't know until you, you have it in your hand. It, it, there's just something very special about it. Now, stacking precious metals, it forced me to create a budget. It makes me stick to that budget because if I want more money that exceeds this budget, I need to sell off this stuff, the stuff that sits before you, I can't take the silver bar to the store and sell it. Some private companies might take gold and silver as payment, but the majority of businesses take dollars. And in order to get more dollars outside my budget, I'd have to sell. Now, before I dive into anything else, the majority of my savings is in precious metals, physical precious metals. This might be too much for some people. But this is what works for me. This has made me money and I wanna show you how. And I'm also not saying that selling precious metals, selling gold and silver is difficult. These metals that you see before you are very liquid. But it does force you to go through some extra hoops to get that extra cash. Going back to what I said about recognizing what is important, it made me more conscious of my spending do I really need this product or the latest and greatest phone? I actually like buying gold and silver and in order to buy up more over my monthly limits without my income increasing, that means I would have to look at what I can cut out in my life to make this possible. Whether it's trips to Starbucks or how often I'm buying pizza. Stacking precious metals really made me look at what's important and what's unnecessary. In an age where it's easy to charge whatever to one's credit card, limiting what you can spend on worthless things is a godsend. When all your savings is tied up here, it really makes it difficult to spend. It literally just sits there. You can't go to Starbucks and spend this 100 gram bar of gold. You have to convert this to dollars. You have to convert all of these to dollars if you want to go spend it on something. So it really forces you to adhere to your budget. Now, I'm certainly not saying that you should only eat Top Ramen and never enjoy things in life. You should definitely... Three words for you. Treat yourself. 
but I feel things that were once considered a treat have morphed into an everyday thing, like dessert. It is this gluttonous attitude that has helped propel Americans to the top of the obesity charts. The same goes for spending. We buy a lot of useless shit. Shit that won't be worth anything in a few years. PS5s, Xboxes, useless plastic trinkets off Amazon. Amazon is filled with cheap Chinese trinkets. Just go look at their Black Friday sale that they had. It was pages and pages of just garbage. Garbage that people go, oh, well, that's a little neat novelty. And then once the novelty wears off, what do you have? You have, you spent money on junk. And with the prices low enough, you don't really think it's a big deal with just buying one here or there. But if you add all those useless trinkets up over the years of spending, it really can get you to change your perspective. Think about things you can cut out of your life. Think about stupid stuff you buy, and you'll be surprised at how much you can set aside for things of true value. Things that you see before you, like gold and silver. It really comes down to what you'd rather have in your life. That pizza or that piece of silver. I've actually started valuing my purchases in terms of gold and silver. Like, ah, oh, damn it. I could have had 12 ounces of silver at the end of the year, but I bought a pizza every month instead. This number will increase the more you cut things out. Instead of buying useless stuff, I treat myself to gold and silver and now they preserve my wealth in the meantime. So it's basically a two for one deal. This is how stacking gold and silver has changed my life. It has snapped me out of a consumer driven mindset and taught me to critically look at our own economy. How did it make me money? Well, when I first started stacking gold and silver, prices of these metals were fairly low. Let's just go back the last two years. I was buying silver for $15 an ounce and gold at $1,300 an ounce. Prices rose dramatically for these metals in those two years. Current spot price for silver is a little over $24 an ounce and gold is $1,840 an ounce. Just a few months ago though, silver was almost $30 an ounce and gold was over $2,000 an ounce. If I sell or trade anything now, I'm going to be in the green. If I had this money in my savings account at the bank instead, how much would it have earned me in interest in those two years? Maybe $400. I made more than that with one singular ounce of gold. With this one ounce of gold, I made more than that. Now this isn't to say you can't lose money stacking these metals. You definitely can. As I had pointed out before, the prices of gold and silver just a few months ago were a bit higher than they are today. So if you bought at the top of the market, you would be down money right now. But even if the paper price of these precious metals went to zero, it wouldn't matter to me. They have true value, real value. It costs money and man hours to pull these metals out of the earth, refine them into what you see right in front of you. It's not easy work. Ask yourself, how easy is it to print paper money? It only costs the Federal Reserve four cents to print a hundred dollar bill. Look around your home. If things went bad with the economy, do you have anything of true value? If you need food and water, what would you have that people would want? If the economy crashes, and I suspect it might in late January 2021, would you have access to your savings account? Lots of things to ponder on. Myself, I'm going to continue stacking things of real value and stop buying things I don't need. You're looking at a portion of my savings. I am my own bank, and you should be your own bank too. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Your comments help me make better videos and they help out others. If you like this video, hit that like button, share it with other people if you really, really like it. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Campbell's Coins, and that is my two cents.